like to remind all of our listeners that the opinions of individual shows or DJs do not necessarily reflect those of NBR Radio. Please keep in mind this is entertainment and intended for the listener with a sense of humor. Portions of this program may not be suitable for those under the age of 18. Parental guidance is suggested. A place for all and all the game teaches. Oh, righty. Beer 30 is when you walk into a bar or a VFW, and in that 30 seconds, you can already tell. That guy right there is drunk, that guy's an idiot, and that guy down there knows it all. There are programs out there beyond the VA. Many nonprofit organizations. The Beer 30 Show. It's the Beer 30 Show. Made by veterans. For veterans. Yeah, I'm right here. Dude, I tell you what. I tell you what. Everybody at home, I'm sure, is laughing right now because this is probably the um, nothing has gone right today. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We uh, we did the streaming, the OBS, the, the guy that was in charge of it, um, he couldn't make it, so that completely blew up in her face. Um, so we had to we had to dislocate it because for some reason it just it wasn't it wasn't helping at all. So we're we're, we're starting new. We couldn't get a hold of you. I don't know if I was calling you at a at a bad at a bad uh, location or what, man? Do, by chance, do you, you don't have cricket, do you? I do not have cricket. <laughs> I have okay. sprint. Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, okay. Okay, I was gonna say because it it's, it it was like I I couldn't hear nothing. All right. Well, sorry that we've uh, lost most of the time to talk to you. Um, we're gonna make it up. Now, if you're just joining us, everybody, thank you for being patient. Thank you for tuning in. Usually, we don't have these problems. I'm telling you, Danny, oh. every time we do the streaming, it always screws up. So, Danny, it, um, Jose Santiago is the founder of Warrior for Life, and one of the reasons why we brought him on is because he does uh, bike rides, and he gets these soldiers out of their house, and he has been raising money for, um, he's been raising money for soldiers. Oh, I thought Actually. we brought him on the show. I thought we brought him and, on the show uh, because his name is in the national anthem. <laughs> there you, go. you know, the there you go. Jose, can I see, you know? Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> I I didn't say nothing, Jose. That that's Danny. He's just being a kidder. Danny's a comedian because I'm not funny. <laughs> well, I, do, I know that. I know that, Joel. That you're not funny. <laughs> yeah, oh. exactly. See, Joel thinks he's not funny, but that's because people don't watch his webcam. All you have to do is look at him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> under the bell, under the bell, under the bell. <laughs> All right, well, um, so let's get started, Danny. I'll I'll let you ask the first question. You always let me ask the first question. You are so polite. <laughs> All right, well, Jose, how are you today? I'm doing I'm doing excellent. Today's my birthday, so it's it's more than better. More than oh, excellent. Well, well happy birthday. How young are you today? I'm forty four. Well, that's not too bad. I mean I think Joel's catching up to you. He is. He's 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 almost there. Yeah, he's getting there. So uh why don't you tell us a little bit about Warriors for Life, uh and yourself and uh how it got started and you know, the good stuff. Okay. Well, first of all, my name is Jose Santiago. Uh, I was an army medic. I had a medical um, discharge in 2006. 
Uh, me myself, I uh, I'm uh, I'm a veteran. With, you have reached uh, the maximum see. time permitted to record. To send your no. message, press one at any time. To listen to your message, press two. To re-record, no. press three. For more options, press that, four. To that cancel, is there press because star. you did not hang up on the voicemail, Joel. <laughs> oh. What y'all was trying to, to tell you. To send your do. message, press one at any time. To listen to your message, press two. To re-record, <laughs> press three. For more options, press four. To cancel, press star. Hey, Jose, Jose is being trolled by his voice. To send your message, press one at any oh time. Gosh. Just press to one. To your I'll message, right press back. two. To re-record, <laughs> press three. For more options, press four. To cancel, press star. I give up. Sorry, please try again later. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Goodbye. Jose, you there? We're over here cracking up laughing because it's so funny. Yeah, I mean, you, any, Danny, you, 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 uh, uh, I give up. You talk, Danny. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm crying over here, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you know, this this happened because I, I was coming on the radio today on online. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I think it's just because we were trying some new stuff. So we'll go ahead and restart over with that. Uh, go ahead and tell us about um, the the program. Tell us about Warriors for Life and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Jose. And happy birthday once again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So my name is Jose Santiago. Um, I was in the military for seven years. I was an Army medic. I had a medical discharge. Um, I'm also... I also had or have uh, PTSD, TDI. Um, I decided to do cycling um, to help me. Uh, and then I decided to form my own club, which is Wars Life. At the beginning, it all started as a club, but now we are a nonprofit. We, we are a nonprofit since uh, October of last year. We've been around as a club like two, three years now, but then we got kind of serious about it. And the whole mission is to uh, help veterans with visible and invisible injuries um, through cycling. But mainly we've been helping people with PTSD, you know, like Joe said uh, earlier, um, to get the veteran out of the house um, so they can stop thinking about suicide we've been doing a couple events we, we just came from puerto rico we had 15 veterans out there doing the ride and uh um taking awareness to put to the puerto rican community about uh veteran suicide you know and we do it through cycling i think joel might be letting his meds kick in on him right now because he, he's supposed to be talking right now so uh, I I'm, yeah, I'm trying to. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm like so aggravated right now. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm trying to soothe myself right now. So I, I'm still listening, Jose. It's just, uh, yeah. You, well, you know, man. If one thing goes wrong with a TBI, everything is, to, you know, it, it goes to hell. So I'm over here trying to calm down. Danny's, you know, laughing. Crying, he he's he, he thinks it's hilarious. Uh, I'm just yeah. Well, you know, well, Joe, when Joe, it comes to me, so Joe. Uh, when I'm it comes sorry. To me, when it comes to me, Joel, when things mess up, I saw I find the funny side of things. That's how I stay positive. I I know Joe personally, so I know uh, how he did. But I was gonna say, Joe, you should just get on your bike, go ride a few miles, and you'll be okay. <laughs> I think he's still zoning out over there, uh, Jose. <laughs> so, so I'll let Joel work through this real quick. Um, <laughs> all right. So Joel's question. So, uh, if you haven't already explained, uh, do you uh, what uh, do you do to help our veterans? What do you do? I mean, we I know you like said you take the motorcycle rides, get them out of the house, and that kind of stuff. Is there any more to elaborate on that? Well, it's not motorcycles. It's bicycles. Oh, bicycles. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Um, so normally, you know, uh, cycling has helped veterans, uh, 
uh, through their recovery phase, um, you know, health and wellness. Before, you know, Vietnam era, you know, uh, the veterans, one of the, their escape was alcohol and maybe drugs. Well, this era, you, we're trying to change that. You know, we, we're trying to do, we're trying to focus on health and wellness. That's the best thing to, to any to, to any illness, you know, health and wellness, exercise, eating well. And that's what we're trying to teach the, the veteran. Um, me personally, I had, I probably had like 10 medications. I don't take no medications anymore because of cycling. So I want, I'm a, I'm a living testimony. So I have, I have to show this to the, to the veteran, teach them, hey, I, I was in your spot. I'm also a veteran. Now I feel better. It's not like it's gonna go away, but you're gonna feel much better. That you know, that's the whole idea behind um, what we're trying to do. That's awesome. I mean, that's always great, especially when you yourself have seen that it works and it's proven. And uh, mm-hmm. you go out there and show somebody else, hey, look, it worked for me. I, it could possibly work for you. Uh, everybody is exactly. different, but there's always something that will help you out. So yes, yes. Uh, what kind of sports and activities does the Warriors for Life offer? Right now, we're just doing cycling. You know, we are a new and small organizations, uh, organization. So our fundings are very limited. So right now, um, everybody that we've been doing stuff, we do um, cycling. We have a few runners and we haven't been able to do uh, an event or represent in an event with just running. And we have some uh, triathletes, but right now um, we're focusing on uh, on cycling until we were able to grow and get more funding to, to expand for veterans for the, those sports that they're interested in doing. Well, it sounds like you guys do a lot over there. Yeah. Go ahead, Joe. I'll let you go ahead and I, uh, jump in now. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Danny. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just over here kind of like zoning out, trying to relax. Um, that's one thing that Jose is pretty good at that I haven't been able to be really good at, and that's when when a oh crap happens or something comes up. Um, my <laughs> stress level just like, I don't know. Maybe veterans can, uh, you know, may- maybe maybe they can dete- attest to this the same way. But my my PTSD when I get angry, it just it bottles up, and yeah, I just I can't let it go. Just like the the traffic incident this morning, I just just can't let it go. But Jose has always been good about letting stuff go. He doesn't let small stuff get to him. That's one thing that I do have. To, I can't even read it, Danny. Text me. It, it's okay. it's already in a text for you, buddy. Uh, he's going to flip out okay. some more. So I'm going to continue on with the question since we are still recording. <laughs> do you, so, so do you guys help the families of the veterans that you guys uh, help? Or is it, just like, is it just the veteran or is it families as well? So our, our whole mission is to help veterans from all eras. Um, our priority is injured veterans, but they don't have to be injured. This is my... And yes, we do help the, the family. It's a bad, uh, it's a, when we have PTSD, the family automatically, most of the time, get the secondary PTSD. I don't know if you heard of secondary PTSD, but they, the family goes to this. And then one of the things that happens is that the organization is they help out the veteran and they forget about the family. But the family is the home front when we're deployed. So we try to include, not we try, we do include the family. Um, one of the things I was going to say is, even if, if you didn't go to combat, this is the way I look at things. If you were able to raise your hand to serve this country, you knew that you had the possibility of going to war and fight for this country. And that in my books, 
that's a okay. So if you as a veteran, com- combative or non combative, need help, we're gonna help you out, even if you didn't go to war. And that's the way. I- but I, our priority is the injured veteran of all eras, not just one era. We we, we try to focus on all eras. That's great. I mean, it's always it's always hard to forget about the like a lot of people forget about the families that that are there to support the deployed service member. See, me myself, mm-hmm. I've I've been on both sides of the spectrum. Um, when I was in the military, I got uh, deployed not to Iraq or Afghanistan. I went to Gitmo, which isn't nearly as bad as Iraq, Afghanistan, but still, you're still leaving your family away and you're still putting yourself in a dangerous uh, situation. Um, yes. Um, and then my wife now, she got deployed to Afghanistan three months after we got married. So we've been, I've been through both sides and, uh, I can e- equally attest that it is really hard on the family member as well as the service member and, uh, together. So that's awesome that you guys do look at the families and do that kind of stuff as well. Um, so Jose, can you tell us, uh, some of the events you guys have and is there anything coming up soon? Um, yeah, so right now we do have an event that we go as a team. We raise money for another organization, um, called World Team Sports, and we, we go out there as a team, um, and we ride in D.C., that's in April. Um, there's a, there's another ride in, in two weeks after that, uh, we go back to D.C., and we, we probably have like 12 veterans. Uh, on our team to go out there, and then um, we don't. We also have another team uh, for Florida. We, we're riding from the east to the west. We're gonna cross Florida in two days. That's in uh, also in April, uh, April second, I want to say. Um, and then we have another ride in Puerto Rico coming up in May. So That's awesome. right now. Are you going to be heading to Jacksonville? Uh, you know, I don't think so. we, we we're riding from Cocoa Beach. Okay. Um, I don't know much about Florida. I'm just, we uh, so I know we we start in Cocoa Beach, is uh, and we end up in Davenport, and then the second day we we finish near Tampa. Uh, so no, I don't think it's this, we're gonna go through Jacksonville. I yeah, that sounds you know. more like the uh, west side of Florida, not the east side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, like I said, I don't know. I don't know much of Florida, so I know the ride is called for, uh, across Florida, and um, the event organizer gave us the opportunity to go as a team and uh, represent our organization and bring awareness about uh, veteran suicide to the ride. So we're gonna be there. Well, I was going to say, if you're coming through Jacksonville, I'd have a beer ready for you so you can grab it as you ride past. <laughs> That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. Um, <laughs> I do wanted to mention um, our ride, the way we we plan and organize these events, we try to, like when we put a team, we try to have five to 20 veterans. We try not to have a lot. We try, we want it to be like a family atmosphere. A more peer-to-peer, more personal ride. Sometimes I feel that when you have more than that, you lose control a lot of it. And I, me as a founder, I like to be involved and I like to talk to them personally. So when you have way too many veterans, you kind of lose track of of the veterans. Right. Hey, you know, Jose, we 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 know that you do the bicycling and we know you help a lot of veterans. Uh, one of the things that we really didn't uh, touch base on, though, that I haven't heard, it might have been said, but I didn't hear it. But we have we have this uh, this 22 suicide thing that's that's going on with the military um, uh-huh. right now. As we talk, your Facebook page uh, is being presented on Facebook, and uh-huh advising people that they can go to your Facebook page and help support uh, getting those jerseys that you that that says 22 that you're you're selling 
Uh, real briefly, because we're running out a little bit of time, real briefly, can you tell the listeners um, the, that are still listening, can you tell the listeners that uh, what the money that you that you raised from those shirts, what are you using that those funds for? Tell, tell the listeners. Okay, so first of all, the jersey says stop veteran suicide. Um, and you can get it at compelwear.com uh, slash custom. And you, you'll find the Words for Life jerseys there. Um, from every jersey that we sell, uh, Compel gives us – we don't sell them. Compel does. Jose, just, hold on. Hey, Jose, hold on a second. Um, this speaker – Danny, I think I think we have a blown speaker. I'm gonna reset it and have him say that. Again. Well, you see, I can hear him just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, I think you're I mean, bad hey, luck today. You know, okay, I'm just gonna going say on. you're bad luck. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. And instead of uh, instead of faking the funk, everybody, hey, join us, laugh with us. You know, we've never had this uh, the, this many issues. I don't know if it's the OBS. Today is the first day, Jose, that we uh, did this OBS. I'll I'll send you a copy. The the uh -huh. address is put on our Facebook page. You can go to the address. Uh, it was text to me, and I'll mention it again. The there's going to be a delay on the radio compared to on the video. Uh, but as you can see, we have our logo and then we have your logo, Jose, uh, right at the top of it. So right now it's working good. So we're going to try to sacrifice this last 30 minutes and make this a good, good show. Uh, but you saying, I didn't want to interrupt, but you was coming out scratchy with the the speaker so i wanted to reset it so that because what you're saying is important so please okay. again say tell, tell us again so the jerseys uh they do say stop veteran suicide um and uh you can get my compelware.com slash customs and you can find a, a war for life jersey there um, we don't, like I said, we do not sell the jerseys, compel, compel where, uh, they sell the jersey, but from, uh, every jersey sold, they donate $10 to the organization. And then the, that money is used for, to help veterans, uh, to these events. If we go to an event, this, this money, uh, helps out for, for their hotel, for their meals, um, it don't not necessarily have to be for one of our events. If a veteran calls us, and we do have the funding to say, hey, there's an event that I would like to go um, and represent War for Ivan. Well, you're, 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 you're cutting out really bad. I think I think you can might you hear me? Cell range. You're you're cutting out really. Can you hear bad. me? I, I, Jose, I think it's Joel's speaker. I heard everything you said. Um, that's awesome with okay. the jerseys. Um, is is there another way people can donate for you guys? Okay, so when they go to our website, uh, our our Facebook page, uh, Warriors Number Four Life, Warriors for Life. If you go to our Facebook page, not on the phone, but on the computer, if you scroll down to the left, there's a button that says Donate, and it, that's our PayPal account is linked to that, and they can make donations there. Um, if if it's too complicated. Um, they can send a check to five six seven six South Devil Way, Santana, Colorado eight zero zero one five. Just make a check to Warriors Number Four, like Warriors Life, and we can also do it like that. Well, Jose, thank you very much for getting your information out there. Uh, I'm sure the listeners appreciate it. I know I do. I think it, I think what you guys do is very very interesting. Uh, Joel's having a lot of issues with his setup over there tonight, so uh, I've kind of taken the head on this show uh, for him, and I can just tell how much it's affecting him through his uh, webcam. So, okay. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, uh, thank you very much. If you want to make a shout out to all the veterans listening out there, or just the people in general, go ahead and do so now. 
Well, I'm gonna. This is why I'm gonna say, uh, keep your head up. It, you know, it, it, it is tough, but we gotta live one day at a time, one day at a time. And uh, if anybody wants to have the need to talk to somebody, if they can't find them, they can call me personally. I'm gonna give out my number seven two zero three three nine three one three two. Anytime, I'll pick up the phone, and if I can't help you, I will direct the veteran. But keep your head up. Um, life is not easy, but like I said, one day at a time. And uh, and for those that awesome. are into cycling, keep pedaling. Outstanding, Jose. That's thank you for getting your number out there. Uh, Joel's jumping in once again. Uh, <laughs> Joel, go ahead and talk, buddy. Okay, Joel, can you hear us? Okay, I think Joel's having more issues over there. <laughs> well, I think we got that information out there for you, Jose. Um, so, uh, thank you for coming on the show, though, buddy. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, if anything, we'll have it recorded. We'll have it on our Facebook page. We can tag you in it, and we still have the whole show recorded on the through a different system. So, okay, thank you. <laughs> no problem, Jose. Have a good one. You too, buddy. And now, a message from your radio station. We just like to say that any connection between your mother and us is purely Facebook related. NBR Radio.